Hello there. Today I would like to demonstrate for you the EF colour, which is the low temperature enamel. This one is a transparent and you can purchase these from cooksandgold.com and the number for this one is 861100. And like I say, this is a transparent, so I thought I would show it to you on the black. And this is just a piece of black Fimo Professional Polymer Clay, baked, nothing else on it. It is just the clay as it has come out of the oven, obviously cooled. And all you need to do is just really sprinkle a layer on the top. It doesn't have to be overly thick, it just needs to be as even as you can, but that's up to you. But it doesn't take anything else to apply this and I put it on some paper so I can then pick up the excess afterwards and put that back into the pot so there's very minimal wastage. Um, you may find that you want to just even the enamel out a little bit and I would just suggest you get a little brush just pat it down you can see where you probably got some slightly higher areas than others but you know this is more I find on the polymer clay this is more of a sort of an organic look and it will give a look like a ceramic tile and um, I just think it's wonderful stuff and it's great that you can put it straight onto the clay without any form of adhesive. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just going to move that to one side and what we will do is I will show you the red transparent on a white piece of polymer clay so all I'm doing with this is just picking this back up and it enables me to put the excess back in to the pot and the red transparent here and this one is 861101 and I just have another square piece and this is white this is the white Fimo this is actually soft um, but again, it's baked and again, absolutely nothing else has been added to it. So we're just going to try this red on the top. And again, just sprinkle an even layer, or as even as you can get it, over the top. It will give a very glassy, enamely look, which I think is wonderful. It opens it up to all sorts of things that you can do with this. But um, like I say, you can get these from Cooks and Gold. They have a range of colours. Um, so you can have a really good play around and once again I may just give it a slight tap around just to see that it's evening itself out a bit but I'm not really not too bothered um, there will be a certain amount of leveling once you put it into the oven to bake and to bake it you need to do that at 150 and you really are only going to especially with these size of pieces as well three four minutes I would definitely say no more than five um, and that's it you just let your piece cool and then you will see a lovely glassy finish on the top so we'll move this one to one side ready to bake and once they've baked I will come back and show you the results thank you very much hello everyone and welcome back well as you can see I have been playing and uh, that was the red and that was the clear, the transparent that I did on the black and the red I did on the white. And I am more than happy with the finish. I love the way you get that sheen. Very, very slightly milky look to this one, but I'm still very happy with it. And with the red on the white, I just think it is really, you know, it just looks so much like a ceramic tile. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and it is so simple. Um, it really is just a case of sprinkling some on baking it and that's it letting it cool nothing more than that and I do love the effect that it gives because it, it just does look like a ceramic tile um, this is the gold lovely lovely colour I feel and this is the blue and uh, I'm really really impressed with them actually and they've worked so well on the polymer clay um, so you've got your, some colours here like I say the ones I've used there is more colours um, but do take a look at cooksandgold.com and um, enjoy, have fun. It can be applied to, you know, other things as well. It doesn't have to just be polymer clay. So, uh, yes, have some fun and I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.